What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome back to Subnautica. Now this video, as many of the latest Subnautica videos that I've done, contain a lot of spoilers. So if you don't want things spoiled, click away. There are some links in the description below to take you to other places and videos that you might enjoy. I can hardly contain myself. I am more than pleased and excited to show you guys, finally, the Sea Emperor's voice. Now, not just the sounds that we've shown off in the past, but the actual voice acting done by Lani Manella. Links in the description below if you want to check out her work. But in regards to Subnautica, the voice acting is in the game. Now, it's also part of the story. We talked about how during the beginning of your gameplay or when you discover new things in the story, the Sea Emperor will telepathically communicate with you, even if you're not right next to it and so far there are three triggers to hear the sea emperor before you actually meet it for the first time the first trigger is in the lost river base or the diseased research facility now i want to give a shout out to mobius for letting me know this information but all in all once you visit the diseased research facility it triggers a countdown for when you're going to have the first contact from the sea emperor it's a 20 minute countdown so after you're in the base which i believe you have to be there for at least 10 seconds to hear suzy q explain what the base is about no matter where you are you'll hear the sea emperor's first contact and it will sound like this Now, I was in the Lost River when that happened. I actually cheated and increased the day and night speed to 100 so it can happen instantaneously. But the interesting thing is it will take 20 minutes. So likely you are to explore out the disease research facility and leave, possibly by that time. And it will contact you no matter where you are. And if you know nothing about the Sea Emperor, that is insane to hear that. That would be mind-blowing. It's almost It kind of reminds me of Gravemind from Halo. Again, there's a lot of similarities with Halo, but I loved that, so I have no problem with it. And I really like the effect of it, even though I think it actually is the Mesmer effect. I don't know if they're going to update that or they're going to keep it the same, because I believe the Mesmer also telepathically communicates with you, so... Or that causes Suzy Q to be weird. I'm not sure. Now, the second contact is, as you've guessed, the Precursor Thermal Power Generator. The one inside the Lava Castle. Same stipulations. You have to be in there for at least 10 seconds. Generally, you have to enter in legally, if you will, from the front to trigger a message that pops up describing the base itself. If you teleport straight there and go in, nothing will trigger. You have to get that message. And then, after 20 minutes, you'll hear this. So as you can see, these subtitles and what she's actually saying are different, so likely those are going to be updated. I don't think they reflect correctly on the wiki. And of course, the third one is at the front of the primary containment facility where the Emperor is being held. As you approach, you'll hear this. And what you seek, want to help you. Her voice is mesmerizing, if anything, and I'm very pleased that they got her to speak in such a calming way. Because again, if you're coming from where you know nothing of Subnautica, you are in for a surprise when you finally see what's reaching out to you. So obviously throughout this entire time, the Emperor is trying to guide you into the primary containment facility to help her. So here we are sitting in front of the primary containment facility, about to walk in and experience the whole thing. So I'm excited, too excited to wait. I'm jumping in. And of course, we have to, uh unlock the doors to get inside. There's the massive antechamber here. I'm not sure if there's much else that changed here, but we will check afterwards. I got to see the good stuff first. Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens, lives specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. I think that might be a typo. I can't remember which side. Oh, there you are. Oh, Oh, the platform's moving. Oh, that's good. I like that. Ooh. Jesus. This is actually kind of scary. Are you here to play? The others came but played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, I have you. Oh my god, the goosebumps 
on my arms. I do love how it's mastered now, too. It has all of the effects combined into one. Not just a voice, you know, unprocessed and such. Oh, wow, look. <gasps> the Emperor is leaving behind... Whoa. Dude, the Emperor is leaving behind the cure balls. The enzyme. Can I pick these up? Hello there. Oh, they disappear. What? I'm confused. Anyway, beautiful job on the voice acting. That is perfect. Oh, he's leaving them in the same spots. Okay, maybe I can catch this one now. Ooh, it looks like he's leaving a trail of enzyme too. That's cool. Hey, isn't this that ball that was once in the game but now gone to cure yourself? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. I guess maybe that's going to start coming into play soon. But anyway, so that's that. Let's go down and check out the eggs. Oh, the eggs are reversed. They are indeed reversed. Hello. Ooh. It's straight up looking at me, and it's moving slowly. I can't even tell. Is that slower than normal? The Emperor is a big entity. It wouldn't make any sense to me anyway if it was moving super fast. That is very creepy. The slower it moves, the more creepy it is. Hi. Oh, my lord. Okay, so it's sitting back in the middle now. Maybe that's a little too slow. I can't... Jesus. Hello? What? Insert fuel crystal for what? Are you going to, uh, talk to me? Oh, I have to have an ion crystal in order to activate this. I'm assuming to trigger the- it's opening its mouth. Dude! Chill out. It opens its mouth now during its idle animation. I love it. All right, let me get an ion crystal. In fact, two of them because I know I'm going to need one for the warp gate. Oh? My young want to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. Oh my god. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this, but they could not hear. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others wanted so badly. To know. What? Dude, that was so amazing. The little echoes leading up to it. The, uh, I think that's called a swell, if I'm not mistaken. So now it's looking at the, it's frozen. It definitely didn't have the animation from transferring from that point to this one. But I'm, oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, dude. And here's the warp gate. Will you talk to me again? Please don't hit me with that. It looks like it was pointing at it with its tentacle. <laughs> oh my god. These animations are so good. You know, minus the one from that point to that point. Well, hello there. I think I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna hatch the eggs first. Okay, chill out, dude. Now you're moving incredibly fast. Now you're moving way too fast for my comfort. Okay, let me go down and hatch your little babies. Incubator, insert hatching enzymes. Oh, I don't have them. Crap. Item, uh, hatching enzymes. Okay, that works. Oh, they look the same. My mysterious enzymes. Okay, I gotcha. Put them in. <gasps> oh my god. Look at this. Oh, it is so cute. Oh my god. That was beautiful! And now they're okay, so that wasn't actually residue from like a laser or something. That was actually them coming out. Ooh. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. I have to let that dissipate for a second. That was... Oh my god. That, that almost made me tear up. I'm not even joking. That almost made me tear up. Like, it, it's not as effective because we haven't spent so much time with the Emperor. You know what I mean? And I didn't even put this in the warp gate just yet. I guess I was supposed to do that first. I hope I didn't mess something up. Ooh. You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. 
This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. Holy crap. Okay, so that was supposed to be before. I was supposed to activate the warp gate beforehand. And then the Sea Emperor juveniles will swim out. Now I feel like I messed it up. Damn it. That was amazing, though. Holy crap. So I guess it ends there. I'm not sure that I can do much after this. Let me try. Let me go through here real quick. And if nothing happens, I do want to see if uh, done in the correct order as it's supposed to be. Does it change anything? Do the Sea Emperor juveniles actually swim out? Okay, it doesn't look like it did anything. Let me, let me, uh, let me, let me try that again. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others wanted so badly to know. And I will do that. Here's the test. Let's see if we do this first. Then hatch the eggs. Will they swim to it? The deed is done. You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. And that almost sounds like a threat. Like maybe I shouldn't because you'll eat me. Likely not, but still. You're going to sit there. Okay, well, I'm going to hatch your babies. And then you tell me what to do next. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Unbelievable. So it doesn't change anything. Now, again, a condition might exist where I have to have the infection revealed to me before I can get a cure. I'm not sure. But nope, they are not swimming out. Again, that could be a reason, but I think at this point it's just unfinished. You know, she reminds me a lot of Galadriel from Lord of the Rings, especially when she said, farewell, my friend. It almost sounds like she was going to say farewell, Frodo. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that it can communicate to me in such a way that I can understand. I was thinking it was going to be little tidbits here and there, or like we talked about before, how maybe Suzy Q would translate it, but it's kind of amazing that it has its own sound, and then it will also communicate in a language that I understand, and sound beautiful at it, and use words that I don't even use, ever. Now let's actually see if we can bring these, these little fellas into the portal ourselves. Aw, uh -huh. it's like... Shutting its eyes. What's so scary about this? It's not scary. Get in there. Did it work? I don't think so. Nope. Well, you know there's only one thing to do. Oh, come here, you little cute dancing fella. Oh. Oh. Okay. That scared me for a second. I thought for sure that it figured out I did it. Is this betrayal in some way? I mean, it's not like it gave it. It's not like it gave me anything, you know. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone, and finally, ye wait, you're gone. Okay, so what do you got to say about that? This is a horrible scene. This is a terrible, terrible scene. I don't know what I have become. Anyway, so that is it. After I say goodbye, I'll play all the voice acting back to back for you guys so you can enjoy the beauty of it without any context or um, annoying people talking over it. But I want to thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, and enjoy.
they're gone. And instead, I have you. My young want to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this, but they could not hear. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others wanted so badly to know. You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet. I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand.